Okay, so good evening, students. All have joined. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yes, I think yes, some yes, students are missing, sir, but I don't think they will join. You can start. Okay. Okay, so uh, machine design two also you have. Uh, I didn't need, uh, that, that I only uh, took the class for machine design, isn't it? For you, your yes, section. Yes, sir. And we uh, have already done some design on DC machine. So in this machine design three, you will uh, design uh, a three phase induction mode. Okay. So I think the introduction is not required because uh, in the last design only I gave some introduction on design of uh, rotating machines. I think you remembered all the basics of uh, rotating machine design. How do we start? Can anybody tell me that uh, what is the starting point of uh, the design of rotating machine? As we have done in the last design class, the dimension, sir. Rating, sir. When we have to know the rating. Okay. We have to design. No, I want to ask you that what you have to. Uh, Calculate first. What what you determine uh, uh, first? Hmm? So the diameter and the length. Yes, sir. No, what uh, diameter and length of what? And it has a different name. So the armature. No, it's not exactly the armature. But the armature depends on the machine to machine. Okay, sir. In that case, it is field. I mean, uh, it is rotor actually. In that case, means? Uh, in induction machine, uh, is the field is uh, in the ro rotor. In, in induction machine, what is the field? Rotor. It's the, it's the field. In, in in induction machine, what is the field? So the rotor is the field. I mean, uh, where when rotor part is the field, and the stator is the armature. Hmm. Rotor is the field. How do you define field? An armature. On what basis you define field and armature? Uh, sir, uh, if I mean where the uh, uh, there are two uh, two magnetic field will be produced. I mean, uh, I mean uh, where the uh, the uh, Poles are being created. That is the. I mean, in that case, that is the field. And uh, I mean that wh where the magnet is being created. I mean, in the de decimation field is fixed, and and here the field is, has been developed in uh, rotor part. I mean, the poles are developed in the rotor part. So it's the field. Uh, uh, someone has written in the chat also. In stator also we have field. In stator also we have field. Uh, that means pole uh, generated. As somebody wrote in the chat that uh, armature is a field. Armature is field. It provides a rotating magnetic field.
okay so uh, anybody else sir in three phase induction motor basically we give supply to the stator and that provides the rotating magnetic field and accordingly the rotor rotates with a uh, slip slip speed now what is the field and armature that is can you to uh, identify the field and armature for the the stator is field and rotor is armature and bolchile kev kich bolo हाँ सर सर स्टैटर फील्ड प्रोड्यूस करे स्टैटर इज द फील्ड रोटर इज आर मेचर सो बिकॉज रोटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्किटेड कंडक्टर्स रोटर आल्सो एज इट्स ओन फील्ड एंड इट इज ओन रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्टैटर एंड रोटर बोथ हैज इट्स रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यस सर सर okay so here if uh, for uh, three phase induction motor for any induction motor the definition that uh, field and armature you can define the definition is like as generally we uh, define field and armature for in the doubly excited machine okay like a dc machine there uh, the field uh we actually uh, excite that by some this is external this is supply and armature uh, that also uh, we excite by another this is supply so that means uh, both the field and armature is excited so it is called the doubly excited machine for synchronous machine also we apply three phase ac to the stator and uh, dc to the rotor so rotor is the field uh, there okay actually this uh, field and armature uh, comes from the very basic definition of uh, electrical machine itself so in the definition of electrical machine we have uh, some energy conversion either uh, uh, electrical to mechanical or vice versa in the presence of magnetic field can you remember that definition okay so definition of electrical machines it converts uh, electrical the energy from electrical to mechanical or vice versa in the presence of magnetic field so so the field in a machine in an electrical machine is uh, that uh, part which is responsible for uh, uh, generating the magnetic field uh, the thing is like that suppose uh, uh, suppose you have made an inductor okay so what do you mean by inductor can anybody answer what is an inductor that lags the current i mean uh, what holds the current it is the reason of lagging current no no behind no no inductor no 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 coil or is the coil any yes. coil any type yes, of coil coil you rheostat also, also use some coil you rheostat have you seen rheostat rheostat also uses some coil can you call it inductance rheostat tumra dekhecho shekhaneo ekta constant ten er tar erakom coil formation kora thake seta ki amra inductance bolte pari any resistor Uh, or any resistance that we use in our lab is basically forms uh, in form of a coil but we don't uh, say it's a inductor tumra jodi amader lab e load box gulo dekho shobkotai kintu ei rokom coil formation e thake but they are not called inductor so what is inductor inductor is that device which uh, uh, give you uh, 
properties. And these properties where we get uh, mostly this property and we accordingly we uh, give the name for that device. Not my point. Yes. Inductor, yes. inductor means it gives you inductance. That doesn't mean that it won't have any re resistance or capacitance. Now you just tell me how we can make an inductor. Inductor. Physically, how we can make an inductor? If I remember the inductor, to record the body. Bolo. Ah, the making of inductor. oil without having resistance in it. It's the we have to minimize. Eta, eta, tumi kaho na ensure. इलेक्ट्रोमैगनेटिक बैलास्ट और दोक नर्मल चोक फॉर फ्लोर लैंड दैट इज बेसिकली वेरी गुड एक्साम्पल अब इंडक्टर आयरन कोर इंडक्टर इज इन टेट हमारे आगे যে ফ্লোরোসেন্ট ল্যাম্পের চোখগুলো ইউজ করতাম দা ব্যালাস্ট উই ইউজ ফর দা ফ্লোরোসেন্ট ল্যাম্প টিউবস সো দ্যাট ইজ ভেরি গুড बेसिकली আ ভেরি গুড एग्जांपल অফ অ্যান ইন্ডাক্টর ওকে সো হোয়াট ইজ देयर ইনসাইড উই হ্যাভ আ উই হ্যাভ আ আয়রন কোর জাস্ট লাইক দা ট্রান্সফরমার এন্ড উই হ্যাভ অনলি ওয়ান কয়েল পুন্ড অন দ্যাট নাও ক্যান ইউ এনসিওর দ্যাট ইট ওন্ট হ্যাভ এনি রেজিস্ট্যান্স এটাকে কি আমরা বলতে পারি যে এর কোনো রেজিস্ট্যান্স থাকবে না রেজিস্ট্যান্স উইল বি জিরো অর ক্যাপাসিটেন্স উইল বি জিরো ক্যান ইউ এনসিওর দ্যাট নো স্যার নট পসিবল আনলেস ইউ আর ইউজিং আ সুপার কন্ডাক্টিং কয়েলস ইফ ইউ আর ইউজিং সুপার কন্ডাক্টিং কয়েলস দেন অনলি দ্য রেজিস্ট্যান্স উইল বি জিরো अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल টু হ্যাভ আ রেজিস্ট্যান্স জিরো because you are using a finite length of a copper coil or maybe aluminum coil so it will offer a finite resistance but still you are uh, calling that device as an inductor why because you have made the device for giving uh, inductance property only got my point so here in the machine also we need three things we need uh, Uh, electrically we need two things one that will give you uh, some magnetic field another thing you need which will carry some current okay we call it current carrying conductor can you remember these terms so we need some magnetic field we need some current carrying conductor okay so if we uh, if we uh, recall the uh, the fleming's left hand rule or right hand rule uh, we have uh, three fingers okay our middle finger represents the current carrying conductor and the index finger represents the magnetic field so that means in every machine we need some part which will be responsible for generating the magnetic magnetic field we should have some part which will be responsible for current carrying conductor the part which is responsible for generating the magnetic field is called field field of the machine okay and the thing and the part which is is basically uh, uh, satisfy the requirement of current carrying conductor conductor is basically called armature now this is true when you have 
uh, a system which is providing the both that means we are providing current current carrying conductor we are providing that means we we have to excite to separate excitation we are providing current to the current carrying conductor and we are also providing the magnetic field okay and that is only possible in case of doubly excited machine got my point and generally uh, in any machine the field we generate by dc dc excitation not by ac excitation either dc excitation or permanent magnetic field like in a alternator or synchronous motor or in a dc machine everywhere the field excitation we provide dc not ac now in an induction motor we provide ac uh, three phase ac in the stator okay and uh, that is generating as well uh, that is is generating the field that means the north pole south pole etc as well as it also carries the major current of the machine bujhte parche ami ki bolchi tale ekhane amra kintu field ba armature alada alada kore bolte pari na we can say stator or rotor you got my point Yes, okay now i uh, i asked one question that is what is the first point and you answered that uh, that uh, the length and diameter of the armature and you have corrected you have rectified your answer and you and said that is the armature uh, diameter and length of the rotor isn't it yes sir okay so a uh, length the diameter ta ke ki bole it has a different name can you remember just in the last semester you have this
okay so i had a call so these are called the main dimensions can you remember main dimensions of the machine yes sir hai na acha eta ka main dimension ta kintu exactly tumra jeta bolcho it is not a dimension of the rotor can you tell me it is a dimension of what not exactly approximately we can say that but not exactly uh so the length part we have we have called it uh, the gross core length it is as a core bolo okay. hmm? sir in dc machine uh, the l we have called it uh, set of a core length i mean the length of the core um so the dimension of the core na ye to core banai to tai mane basically stator core hote pare rotor core hote pare length of wire or the diameter of wire actually uh, between the stator and rotor you have an air gap okay so it is the dimension of that বুঝতে পেরেছো তো দ্য ডে দ্য ডায়ামিটার ইজ দ্য এভারেজ ডায়ামিটার অফ দ্য এয়ার গ্যাপ ওকে সো ইফ উই থিংক অফ আ ভেরি থিন সিলিন্ডার হুইচ ইজ ফর্মড বাই দিস এয়ার গ্যাপ বিটুইন দ্য স্টেটর এন্ড রোটর সো ইট ইজ দ্য ডাইমেনশন অফ দ্যাট নট মাই পয়েন্ট বুঝতে পেরেছো আমি কি বলতে চাইছি হ্যাঁ স্যার ডিটারমিন dimensions a and d what we need what are the things we need uh, from our uh, particular equation generally we try to solve that what is that equation hmm? sir output equation output equation correct the output equation uh, now in the output equation uh, one uh, major thing you need what is that a constant you need what is that yeah. output coefficient sir c not output coefficient output coefficient c not and what are the things uh, you need to calculate c not bav and it magnetic loading and electrical loading that's all firstly it is not magnetic uh, you need a specific magnetic loading and specific electric loading isn't it yeah, yes sir okay and that winding factor also you need right no? you don't need the winding factor okay so i i think you haven't uh, come across winding factor because uh you have designed this machine only yes, and in this yes. machine you didn't have winding factor but i think you have studied uh, uh, synchronous machine and induction motors so didn't you come across that term winding factor হারমোনিক্স 
रिड्यूस हार्म ओके सो दैट मीन्स वाइंडिंग फैक्टर इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टीच फैक्टर एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर ओके तो बेसिकली इफ वी हैव वाइंडिंग फैक्टर सपोज इन एडिशन मशीन सपोज वी हैव वाइंडिंग फैक्टर तो हाउ व्हाट विल बी द चेंज एडिशन मशीन में जो भी हमारे वाइंडिंग फैक्टर था तो तारे चेंज था क्यों and why we don't have a winding factor for dc machine hmm so it won't have the harmonic as it operated on dc hello so it a harmonic nature amra dc to operate korchi जिज कर and uh, they are full they are 180 degree or uh, in electrical what it did the people um i mean the the windings are in full pitch windings are full pitch correct so that means the windings are full pitch coil the coils are full pitch coil So that means between two coil sides, we have one eighty degree electrical angle. Got my point? Between two coil sides, we have one eighty degree electrical, and here we have less than one eighty degree. Suppose one eighty minus epsilon. Okay. So that means here the coils are short, not full. It is short by some angle epsilon. Okay, and the cos epsilon by two is the pitch factor. Okay. Okay. Now, distribution factor here. The coils are distributed. Okay. Distributed means you have understood what why it is called distributed. So there also it is distributed <laughs> in DC machine also it is distributed. On. DC B DC machine it uh, you don't think about the field when you are considering the induced EMF equation because actually this K W comes in the induced EMF equation not in the other uh, part. Am I right? He bolji bolji the bachcho na paachcho na. Hey, which age is your K W is both the next part. So sir, sorry. Yes. A P into K. So this is a pitch factor which you can write cos. Epsilon by two. Okay. Suppose this is a coil. So if this is one eighty degree, then it's full pitch coil. If it did, if suppose this is the go part and this is the return part. If between this go and return, we have less than one eighty degree electrical, obviously. Then. It will be called a short pitch coil. Got my point. And why? Uh, why? Why? What is distribution factor? Okay, so distribution factor comes for a distributed coil. Okay. Now both this term K P and K D or K W comes in the expression of the uh, of the induced EMF. Okay, 
Suppose what is the expression of an AC coil induced error? Can you tell me? 4.44 frequency into flux into uh, actually every is a similar point. equation for any machine, not mm. for transformer. For any machine, we have only same equation. We can also derive uh, the DC machine induced MA from this equation. It's yes, a flux number of turns per phase number of turns per phase into KW into KP into KD. So this is the expression for the induced EMF in a AC coil. The AC coil may be placed in the transformer. Maybe uh, why for transformer we don't have K KW because there you don't have pitch factor and distribution factor because all, all are concentric in that case. All the coils are concentric. And we can algebraically add the uh, okay, so let me uh, explain like this. Suppose a coil is giving you some 5 volt. At a coil, the market 5 volt. Okay, suppose you have a C number of coils, C number of coils. How much voltage you will get? Can you answer this? So these concepts are required because you are uh, passing out electrical engineering. So you don't have the uh, answer, don't have this answer for this simple question. Uh, can you repeat the question, sir? Suppose you have only you have one coil which is giving you five volts in any machine. One coil is giving you five volts. So if you have C coils in number of coils, sir, how much voltage you can expect sir, from this machine? Sir, if the coils are in series, then it will be five C, and if the coils are in parallel, then it will be five volt only. So you are saying that that depends on the connection. Yes, okay, yes. so you are you are saying that if it is series then we'll get 5c okay then uh if, if it is, if it is parallel, parallel then, then it is 5 volt only but and if it is a combination of series and parallel then we will have a difference but between this 5 volt and 5c volt isn't it now who is giving this answer? Let me know. Pawan Kumar? Yes, sir. Anybody else? Is it right? Sir, for concentrated winding, it will be 5C, and for distributed, it may be less than 5C. Okay, so he is giving a different answer. He is saying that uh, if a, this is true. The answer which is given by Pawan is true for concentric coil or concentrated coil, whatever. Concentric coil, not for distributed coil. Why? Can you answer? Yes, sir, because after that we will get KW term also, which will reduce the E. Why KW will come? Why KW? I don't know what is KW. You just simple term you just explain that for a distributed coil why we will not this 5c for a series coil so there will be the vector addition okay first we have to understand that this 5 volt what is this voltage because this 5 volts can come from from a DC from an AC. Now, if DC is well understood from AC, that means what is that 5? Is it the RMS voltage or the peak voltage? I don't know. Generally, for AC, we prefer the RMS voltage 5 volt, isn't it? Okay, 
so for ac it is if the rms voltage is 5 volt what we can write we can write vm sin omega t so what is vm in that case root 2 into 5 into sin what is omega for 50 hertz it is 314 t so this is the expression of one coil voltage suppose this is the ec okay now we have to add this ec c times because we have c number of coils but suppose c is 3 we have three number of coils so this is the ec1 now what is ec2 do you know that can we write this no sir there will be some phase difference also okay so there will be some phase difference suppose gamma okay and the third coil why this phase difference will come can you yeah. it, 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 it is distributed in space in different uh, with with a phase i mean it is a phase difference i mean why I mean, this phase it, difference will come why this is coming because suppose one is in this slot the next will be in different slot ekta e slot e ache ekta e slot e ache ekta e slot e ache suppose this is this can be your zero degree but this will be your gamma degree and this will be your two gamma degree now if this is your pole direction when the first coil will come it is zero after some time the second coil will come after some time the third coil will come so that means their space difference position difference is converted to their time angle so here this gamma is the time angle which is coming from their space angle mane space e thara different jaygay ache bolei shei ta tader time angle e convert hocche so space angle is converted to the time angle so this gamma is called the angular slot pitch okay now if these three expressions are like this when we will add this three ekhane ami root 5 keno likhechi will it be 5 এরকম যদি হতো মানে সাপোজ ফাইভটা এখানে আছে এই ফাইভটাও এখানে আছে এই ফাইভটাও এখানে আছে দেন উই ক্যান হ্যাভ থ্রি ইন্টু ফাইভ ফিফটিন কিন্তু ব্যাপারটা সেরকম নেই তো ব্যাপারটা আছে ওয়ান ফাইভ ইজ লাইক দিস অ্যানাদার ফাইভ ইজ লাইক দিস অ্যানাদার ফাইভ ইজ লাইক দিস তো দিস ইজ ইউর গামা অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ ইউর অ্যানাদার গামা and this is your two gamma so you will have resultant like this got my point can it be 5 yes. volt uh, sorry 15 volts no uh, If, is it possible yes. to have 15 volts ha ki bolo eta theke 15 volt hobe jodi delta value gulo zero hoy ডিস্ট্রিবিউটেড কয়েল ইজ ইট পসিবল টু হ্যাভ ফিফটিন ভোল্ট নো সো দ্যাট মিনস ইট ইজ অল ইট উইল বি অলওয়েজ লেস দ
not algebraic summation. Ki bussa bacha hai? Ki bolchi? Now you just think of a transformer. What is the voltage of a transformer? Four point four four F five M into number of turns. Number of turns. Number of turns. Okay. Now, suppose for one turn, what will be the voltage? For one turn, what will be the voltage? Voltage is this. Okay. Yes. Kita ito. And total voltage is T times E T. How we can multiply this T one? Because for all the turns, we can add. We can repeatedly add this voltage. And what will be the addition? Algebraic addition will get. So therefore, we can just multiply like this. So the basically here in the case of a transformer, actually we are adding algebraically all the turns voltages, and thereby we are getting E T into T. We are getting four point four four F phi M into T one. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Why it is possible to uh, multiply just by T one? All algebraically, we are adding the turns voltages. Why it is possible? It's not distributed in different direction. The turns. No, it, yes. So all this, all this uh, turn voltages same. are in same phase. Yes, sir. All these turn voltages are same phase. So ekta jodi EC ET jodi erakom hoy, next ET also will be like this. Next ET will also like this. In this way, we have to add. T one number of E T S and we will get T one into E T. Okay. Now for uh, uh, for A C machines also for distributed coil also, if we do like this, is it okay? I'm ready to do. AC machine at Jono Akijinish Kodi, AC rotating machine said Jono. If we do the same thing, is it okay? If it is not, then what correction we can uh, do for this? Just let me know. I'm ready to do the AC machine at Jono Akijinish Kodi. We can multiply the terms. Uh, we have multiplied by the term T S. Uh, then it's okay, sir. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that means we are you are uh, agreeing that we we can multiply by the number of times. That means we can algebraically add the voltages. Ek to aage jeta amra bollam je algebraically add kora jabe na. Na sir. Shete to chicken algebraically add kuchhi to amra. Ki kore thik hai? Chhe AC machine, rotating machine, the jono you have a distributed coil. Uh, then we have a pitch factor. I mean, uh, pitch you, distributed factor. We have to multiply with the distribution. No, 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 no. The pitch factor distribution factor is different issue. How this distribution factor will come? That that I want to explain. How this distribution factor will come? That we okay. have to understand. Now you just tell me, can you, is this expression correct or not? No, sir. For distributed learning, it's not totally correct. I mean, there is some terms are missing. So that means here, what what is the error? The error is we have added the all, all the trans voltages or all the coil voltages algebraically. Now, if I want to rectify this, what should I do? Suppose I want to keep this part. Suppose I don't want to change this part because I have a prior knowledge of transformer voltage. I don't don't want to uh, change this part. So what should I do? Anyone? Sir, sir, we multiply with the winding factor. 
I don't know what is winding factor. Winding factor now there is winding factor will come. Now you see, so this is the wrong uh, calculation I have done. How I can rectify this? I can divide by this wrong voltage. That means the algebraic summation, and I can multiply by the phasor summation. Okay, got my point. So this is how I can rectify this. Do you agree? Yes, sir. So I have to multiply by some factor where in the denominator we'll have the algebraic summation of the voltage. Then it will will cancel out, and in the numerator you have you will have the phasor summation of the voltage. And this is nothing but the distribution factor. Uh, sorry, uh, KD distribution factor, which is the phasor sum of the voltage divided by the algebraic sum of the voltage. Got my point? Yes, that means we want to keep the expression which we have learned for. Transformers. Therefore, this KD is coming. What's the matter, Chu? Mane concentric coil energy expression that I want to keep. If I want to keep that, then that distribution factor will come, which doesn't have any unit. Only we can say that distribution factor is less than one because you see that phasor sum cannot be more than algebraic. Sum. Phasor sum is always less than algebraic sum, so this factor is always less than one. I don't know what is the expression of uh, KD. Sine Q gamma by two by uh, divided by Q sine gamma by two. I don't know that expression. I forgot that expression. But I know these things only that the KD is nothing but the phasor sum divided by the algebraic sum. Okay. So that means if we have a distribution factor, your net voltage will be reduced. I throw me the class here. Any question? Bolo, one of question as a And you also mentioned the wrong thing that is, uh, we have concentric concentrated coil or concentric coil for DC machine. This is wrong because for DC machine also we have a distributed coil. Though it is a full pitch coil, but it is a distributed coil. You think about the armature of the DC machine, the rotor of the DC machine. Is it, a, is it a concentric coil? Follow. This emission is a concentric coil. No answer. No sense. We have distributed coil, but still. Uh, you are not uh, imposing this factor, distribution factor over there. Why? Because sir, our supply is not sinusoidal. Correct. So that means uh, if the thing is not sinusoidal, then the phase difference will not come. So we just, uh, actually we are just adding the DC values. We are only adding the DC values. Or DC machine. We don't need any gamma factors because the values we can add just like that. This is, is it is just a scalar, not a phasor. So all the voltage contributions we can add algebraic. We don't need any uh, phasor addition. Got my point? So if you can. 
remember in dc machine also we get a voltage like this the next voltage will be there will be some gamma difference so between these two we, we have gamma like this so this type of voltage we get but what we are doing so this is the ever suppose this is the average value or dc value of one so if we have three so it just three times we can make it so if if this is your ec we can make it three ec because we are adding the values only not the sinusoidal quantities because we are not interested in the sinusoidal quantities over we are only interested in the dc values or the average values okay understood why this kw will come in the expression of uh, uh output coefficient of a uh, induction motor uh, output coefficient expression okay and one more thing uh, can you recall the expression of output coefficient yes sir hmm bolo sir it was pi square into b average into ac into 10 to the minus 3 where ac was the specific electric loading okay and after the uh, main dimension how do we proceed in brief output coefficient ta bar kora mane tomar main dimension determine korar pore amra kibhabe proceed kori so what are the components what are the parts what we have we have stator we have rotor so here we don't have armature so here we have stator and rotor okay so where here how we will proceed uh, first uh, we will determine the main dimension that is the l and d okay so then we'll go for the stator design then we'll go for the rotor design and at the end we'll calculate the losses the slip because uh, once we can uh, once we find out the rotor copper loss we can find out the slip we have uh, we know the formula for that isn't it okay then at the end we'll calculate other losses like the core losses and we'll calculate the efficiency in this way we'll proceed so once uh, we go for the stator design we'll design both the the iron part and the copper part that means the winding part and the core part mane stator e core tao jemon design korbo abar stator e winding tao ekhi sathe korbo because both are interrelated bujhte parecho so uh, can you tell me just how the uh, the slot design is done so this is the only i am uh, in this class i am just recapitulating what you have learned because uh, if i, I don't uh, recap all this uh, uh, again uh, you have to learn all this from the scratch বলো আমরা স্টেট আমরা ধরো ওখানে রোটারে ছিল আরমেচারে ছিল ইউ हैव द স্লট সো হাউ জেনারেলি উই ডিজাইন द স্লট স্লটের ডিজাইনটা কিভাবে করা হয় ইফ ইউ हैव লার্ন প্রপারলি দেন ইউ ক্যান অ্যানসার দিস अदरवाइज ইউ ডোন্ট sir we assume the slot pitch uh, lies within certain range and then we apply some formula such as uh, pi into d by that is, that is the number of slots i am asking for the slot dimension design means the how 
how we finalize the dimension of the slots not how many slots are there that we can find out in a different way slotted dimension amra kibhabe define kori so first we find the area of conductor uh, using uh, the current and current density not exactly before that also we do have to do something acha uh, here the thing is like that suppose you want to buy a car okay uh, then you have to uh, think that how uh, many uh, member how many person will uh, travel in that car okay so first when once you are going for the design of a slot you you should know that how many conductors will be placed on that slot bujhte paro je ekhane kono to oi rakom mane free space rakhte parbe na so first you have to uh, understand that you have to find a realize that the conductor for slot cps conductor for slot okay koto gulo conductor ekta slot e house korbe then you have to find out that, so that means the number you have uh, find found out then you have to find out the area of the conductor cross sectional area of each conductor so that in that you can use the current density and the current how much current will flow through that conductor so current divided by current density will give you the cross section and area and from some xwg chart standard wear gauge chart uh, you have to take the standard uh, dimension of the conductor usse bolcho so that means your slot is basically a room for your conductors okay first you should know how many conductors will be placed will be housed in the slot and how many floors are there generally there may be one floor there may be two floors so we have single layer winding and double layer winding so generally for uh, induction motor we have double layer winding so if we have two floors then in each floor how many conductor will be housed okay so once the number is finalized then you should know the cross cross sectional area of the conductor if that is also uh, uh, finalized then you have to draw some arrangement and you have to give some uh, insulation because in the bare conductor you cannot place your slot you have to uh, you have to keep some bed bed of insulators hmm bujhte parecho tumi bear slot tar iron slot er moddhe to conductor gulo ke house korben eta short hoye jabe because here your iron core is also a good conductor conductor of electricity okay so you have to place some uh, insulating material inside the slot so there are different slot lining between conductor also you need some insulations so accordingly you have to find out the slot dimensions okay now you just tell me uh, what is the average flux density in general we can, we take and where we assume the average flux density एवरेज फ्लक्स डेंसिटी तो कोथा है हमरे एज्यूम कोड सर इन द एयर गैप हां बट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू जनरली वी टेक वन पॉइंट फाइव वे बैक पर मीटर स्क्वायर वन पॉइंट फाइव Sir, 0.5. 0.5 can be 0.6. Can it be 0 up to 0.65 maximum? 0.65, 0 0.4 to 0.65 weber per meter square we can take, and that is the specific magnetic loading. And that you have to uh, assume at the beginning when you are computing the output coefficient. 
okay but what is the uh, maximum flux density in any uh, magnetic core material what is the maximum value because that is the check everywhere you have to check that whether it is exceeding that value or not what is the maximum value in any magnetic core material that is 2.1 wave Per meter square. So you just uh, remember these values. Your uh, flux density should not exceed 2.1 wave per meter square. Okay. So generally, BT one third. That means the flux density at the uh, root of uh, tooth, stator tooth, and the rotor tooth. We calculate, and uh, that should not exceed uh, 2.1 wave per meter square. So these are the points you have, you should remember. Okay. The problem I will uh, give you in the next class because if I uh, give you the problem today, you will not do anything before the next class. So better I will uh, give you the problem in the next class and I will start designing the class itself. Okay, and you see it with the calculator with the calculator and the book by. Ekeshani. I think you all have the book by Ekeshani. Yes, so you yes. see it with a calculator and the book. And for this class, uh, uh, Shukato, you just take the screenshot of the attendance and send me. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, 29 participants for today's class. And I think that the Saturday will be problematic for you for this class. So better you uh, suggest uh, another day. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, sir. Same day. Tuesday evening. Yes, sir. Tuesday evening. Okay. Take a Josh with So you take the screenshot. I, I will end the class for today. So all the things I have mentioned today, uh, you just. Uh, Read all these points uh, from the book, so that so that your basic understanding would be clear. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Good night. Okay. I'm sending you the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.